Fans there gearing up in Nanaimo for a battle on the ice. The biggest story, though, or bigger, I should say, maybe off the ice, behind the bench. Myra Lawrence is in Nanaimo at the Frank Crane Arena, gearing up. There she is. How you doing, Myra? Hi. You excited? I'm good. What do you think of those kids? Oh, oh I love I'm them. Super I super pumped. I've been... I, I was going to say, I wish I was there. I wish you were here too, uh, Joe, because this is going to be one heck of a game. We have the Nanaimo Clippers hosting the Victoria Grizzlies. Of course, two big points are on the line. Both teams are on a bit of a hot streak right now, but there's also a story within the story. And this marks the return of the former coach, Bill Bestwick. Now, he hasn't been in this building since March 2011 when he parted ways with the Clippers organization. Jordan Cunningham had a chance to sit down with Bill in his new surroundings at Bear Mountain Arena earlier this week, and we got caught up with the new Grizzlies bench boss. You go into all sorts of buildings every single year, but this is totally different. Well, I think it'll be um, normal once we get past this first one. And the first one going back certainly has uh, an allure and appeal for various reasons, I guess, depending on who you talk to. You're going to have a few hecklers out there. You can, you can guarantee. You ready for that? Well, I would say that I've had a few hecklers in my time. <laughs> Um, going into different buildings around the league, and I get a kick well out of it. I think it's, well uh, I think it's entertaining. You know, if you're around long enough, you can have a lot of dissenters. And I've been around long enough, so I have a few. Uh, what's your relationship like now with the Clippers franchise? Is is there any relationship? Is there a little bitterness there? Well, I've moved on. Um, you know, uh, I had a two-year balance of my contract remaining and um, I didn't leave the organization uh, I was asked to so um, you know I've moved on it's this part of life it's part of business it's part of sport it's, things happen and so now I've found myself in an environment in a situation that I, that I absolutely love and every kid on this team for the most part has been a misfit they've been traded or dropped or let go or released from a team in our league, for the most part, much like myself. And so I'm, there's always that element that you go, if there's one game, <laughs> if there's one game, so we all have those games. Uh, Bill, thanks for this and uh, best of luck in your homecoming. I look forward to it, should be fun. Great conversation there between Jordan and Bill. Now, Bill told us also in that interview we showed earlier this week that he likes to listen to Adele before the games. I don't know, Coach Mike Vandekamp, if that's your type of music before a game, but uh, if you had your pick, what would you listen to pregame? I listened to uh, Jason Aldean today. A little country. Yeah, all the time, yeah. All right, big game tonight. Um, a little more than two points are on the line. Absolutely not. Just two points are on the line for us. Uh, that's really what we're approaching here. Uh, it's a big game for us. Obviously, we've been playing well lately. Um, it's only our second game at home, and we want to establish a good identity here in our own building early on in the season. Um, you know, it's we play a lot of home games in October, and we just want to make sure that we're building confidence in our own rink. And we played well here in our home opener uh, two weekends ago, so hopefully we can do that here again tonight. This is the start of a busy week for you, or weekend, three games in three nights. Well, two and a half, I guess. Well, it's about time. We haven't played uh, very much here early on. Uh, most of the teams, I think all the teams in our division have played seven games. We've only played four, so uh, it's been a pretty light schedule. So it's actually nice to be busy this weekend. I know our guys are chomping at the bit to play more games, and uh, so this will be a good test for them this weekend. What do you like out of your group that you've seen in the first four games? Well, we've been pretty good defensively and consistent that way. Um, I think our overall work ethic and physical play is there. Uh, that's the type of team we wanted to be. We're a hard-working group. We, we want to be a physical team and hard to play against, and so far we've been that way. This is a very special year for you guys, your 40th anniversary, and you're hosting the Western Canadian Championship. How exciting is that? It's, it's funny that you ask because I haven't thought about it anymore. It was uh, a lot of the topic obviously in the off season and then when we first opened training camp but it just doesn't come up that much anymore which is probably a good thing and uh, at least around our circles from a hockey operations side um, I know there's a lot of people including myself a little bit busy behind the scenes in preparation for that stuff later on but um, really the uh, the WCC is in late April so we'll worry about that when we get there um, the 40th anniversary I think our uh, group um, off ice people marketing people etc have done an awesome job so far of celebrating that uh, with events here at our home games and so on and recognizing some of the people from the past. 
great. Today is the present, a new uh, new era, so uh, good luck tonight, Coach. Thank you very much. All right, Friday night, always a busy night in the BCHL. It's another island, all-island matchup taking place just down the highway as the Couchin Valley Capitals host the Alberni Valley Bulldogs. And in Victoria, in the WHL, we have the Victoria Royals. They put their 2-0 record on the line against the Kamloops Blazers. Jordan's going to have highlights and results tonight at 11. 50th anniversary celebrations taking place on the UVic campus this weekend and adding to the excitement. Virtually every sports team is playing at home. The Lakes women's field hockey team play their home opener on Saturday against who else but those UBC Thunderbirds. The Lakes started the season strong on the road, taking both games off the University of Calgary Dinos. The T-Birds will be a true test. Almost their entire roster is made up of national or junior national team players, whereas the Bikes have 11 fresh faces in their lineup. I think that uh, every time you know any team plays against UBC, I think in any sport, I think that we want to you know prove that we're not just a, a hokey little school from the island. Uh, that we actually can compete against the best teams, and, and certainly UBC this year is going to be one of the best teams in the country. They've got um, we have 11 rookies. I think they have eight or nine national team athletes. So uh, it's going to be uh, it's definitely going to be a challenge for us, but. Maybe a bit of a David, David versus Goliath this weekend. We definitely have a bit of a weakness with our 11 rookies coming in, a little less experience. But at the same time, we're all super eager to prove ourselves on the team. And I think we have a lot of potential with all of us just coming in. We only have room to grow. So, Hockey night in the Harbor City. Joe, this is going to be a great game. The Nanaimo Clippers and the Victoria Grizzlies. Also, tomorrow, tomorrow is a big game for uh, the VI Raiders football team. They host the Okanagan Sun. We're going to talk to some of the Raider Nation coming up during Vancouver Island Report. Looking forward to it. Have fun. Packed. Yeah, have some fun. We'll check in with you a bit later. You bet, Joe. Welcome back to the show. Time now to check in with Myra, who's outside the Frank Crane Arena live, and the crowd's getting bigger and bigger, and the puck drop is soon. And bigger and bigger and bigger. It's like extended around the building now, Joe. I think everybody's here at Frank Crane Arena to see the Victoria Grizzlies and the Nanaimo Clippers. This is a homecoming for the original Clipper himself, and he joins me right now, Bill Baswick. Hi, Myra. Welcome home-ish. Thank, Thank you. How does it feel great today? Peter. You know, a lot of memories um, in this building and lots of uh, great times here. Um, so many wonderful fans and so many wonderful supporters and volunteers and corporate friends and it's just uh, it's great to be home and it's great to see the buzz here at Frank Crane Arena. Great lineup and obviously a great game that we have in store. You guys are undefeated in regulation so far this season. How nice would it be to win this one here at the Frank? Well, make no mistake. I mean, this is a very special game for uh, you know four of our players: Brett Hartscamp, Jerry Miles, and Leo Fitzgerald. So I know that they would love nothing more than to win here in front of people that they played in front of for over a year. Uh, I know that we have a team sitting in that locker room that really wants to put their best foot forward tonight and try to keep our little winning streak on the road that we have going. We've only played one game at home, and we know that this is a championship team that we're playing against. And uh, for us to be able to measure ourselves against the team that's been built for a championship. Uh, this is, you know, one of those uh, milestone nights, I think, although it's early in the season. Does Bill Beswick want this one, though? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, you know, um, that's what you do this for, is you do this to win and you, you to play hard and be ready to play hard and be prepared. And I think our team is well prepared for tonight's game. And uh, again, this will just be a testament to the kids if we can get out of here with two points. All right, Bill, we'll let you go listen to your Adele and get ready for the game. And we'll see you inside there. Thanks. Appreciate it. Mark. All right. Thank you, Bill. Also taking place on Saturday, not too far down the road, the VIU Mariners golf team are hosting the third pack West tournament of the season at the Nanaimo Golf Club. Yes, and who knew that playing golf would get you so jacked? This is Morgan Decksheimer from West Kelowna, and he has some serious arms. The first year Marino will be one to watch this weekend. Morgan shot a 69 and a 70 in the first tournament of the season. He sits first overall and tied for seventh at the Kwantlen University Invitational. The M sit in third in the standings and would love to move up the leaderboard with a great weekend on their home course. It absolutely does. It's not like golf's not like other sports. Uh, basketball courts are the same wherever you go. Uh, volleyball courts are the same wherever you go, but golf courses are not. And having a chance to play a lot of rounds on your on a course and then play a tournament on it should give you a good advantage. Should. Um, off the golf course, though, we're all having a pretty good time this year, this semester. Um, you know, we're all we're all buddies and we're all just gelling really well. So um, once we get to the golf course, we're just we all feel pretty laid back, you know. 
um, out on the course. We just, you know, we're competing for each other and ourselves, so that always adds to the competitive nature of the game. And and uh, it's just been going well. I mean, we've all we're right where we should be. You know, I think we're in third as a team, and and we're just going to build on that this week. So. Taking place under Friday night lights at Royal Athletic Park. The Mount Doug Rams currently lead St. Thomas Moore Knights 38-20 in the third quarter. So a good game there. Joe Jordan's going to have those highlights planned. And, of course, the highlights from this big game here at Frank Crane Arena in Nanaimo. Enjoy the game, Myra. We'll see you back here on Monday.